live tonight, and our general manager has put together one heck of a card for this show. Hey, everybody, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and... And me, Byron Saxton, are here tonight live. What happened? We couldn't get Booker tonight. We couldn't get Otunga. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. This is going to be amazing. If you're facing off against Zack Ryder, a word of the wise, if I may. Be prepared for a flurry of aerial attacks, devastating kicks, and of course, this punch. It's Long Island IZ. You know it. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. Beautiful technique. the impact. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Full oh, impact. Trap the arm. And the neck breaker. Big flying form. He's not going to like this. The end is near for him. That's not what he had planned. I would hope not, Michael. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Three. Gut buster. If you're rooting for Seth Rollins, you have reason to worry now. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. He's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. Behind the ridiculous hair, terrible chance, and horrible outfits, Zack Ryder managed to create a finisher in the rough ride. He's in complete control. Hammering away. Look at him go. Oh, my God. Where is he? Where is he? It's his music. Where is he? His back is turned to his opponent. Oh boy, he was rolling. Nailed it. Boom! Oh. He knows he's in trouble. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he counter here. He gets it with a reversal. Seth Rollins beginning to fade. Seth Rollins has put so much forth in this match. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him. Look at this. Ooh, what an impact. Thanks. 
incredible. Button is Rollins. Seth Rollins going for it. Looking good. He's making a statement here with this attack. Now what a reversal from Seth Rollins. Rollins so impressive. Bam! Nice. Shut it down. This could do it. And he kicks out. Remarkable. Oh, setting him up right where he wants him. Pulls the ripcord. What a knee strike from the Kingslayer. Here's his moment, Michael. Seth Rollins really needed this break. But what can he do with it? We got a cover. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Man, oh man, look at that. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. We have a great matchup coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. I can't wait. with his technical Man. wrestling skills. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. Bobby Roode looking good tonight. Oh. Truly worthy of the expensive robes he wears to the ring. I can't believe I've been agreeing with a guy who shops at Suit City, but if these were fashion competitions, his opponents would have already lost. forced to play defense here but he's not appearing too worse for wear at least not yet anyway he's got the shoulders down digging deep for a kick out not yet Ooh. he's going for the pin Bobby Roode pops the shoulder up 
Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Harsh impact. If history is any indication of what to expect in this one, beating Bobby Roode will be no easy task here tonight, Corey. Yeah, no kidding, Cole. The truth is, if, look at this. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Definitely has his work cut out for him. I'm destroy your face. He's taking some offense, but not for a second do I expect him to back down now. If his opponent somehow wins this thing, you could likely go back to this. He's got him covered. To elaborate a bit more on my point about cheating against Rude, go back and watch how Dolph Ziggler handed Rude his first SmackDown loss. That's how you do it. You can't condone that, Corey. Ziggler has a handful of tights. You know that moment of glory will forever have an asterisk in Ziggler's mind. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Oh, boy, he is wrong. Spy Buster! I knew it was only a matter of time. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. Uh-uh. Oh, boy, he is wrong. This might be it. Oh, my. He's playing with him now. Beautiful technique. Here's a chance to win. He goes for the cover. And he kicks out. That's too early for that. Military, what a scary draw. Elias looks to attack from the corner. Elias setting it up. I'm not sure how much he has left. Elias setting it up. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. He's done it. He scored the win. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Check him out here. Here is your winner, Elias. And the first match of the night comes to an end in... is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. Oh, I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. I don't even think the lunatic Prince knows what he's going to do moment to moment. No, I quit trying to make sense of Ambrose a long time ago. I was getting headaches. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, oh man. His shoulders are down. Easily kicks out of that one. He's going to take more than that. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect four. Hooked up. Oh, man, what a drop. 
driver. Oh, nasty impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. He's got him covered. And Ziggler quickly kicks out. It's going to take more than that. Beautiful. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Michael expressed how Dean Ambrose marches to the beat of his own drum. This is true, but don't let his humor fool you. Ambrose carries a dangerous chip on his shoulder. Everybody, including the Shield brothers, have a chip on their shoulder. But you don't see them bringing mannequins and potted plants to the ring. Maybe if Ambrose were to show some more professionalism, he'll be taken more seriously. Vertical suplex! Nice! Oh, oh man! You gotta believe this one's over! And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. Oh, he turns it around. And Ambrose is rolling down, Michael. This is going to be big, one way or another. Oh, what impact! Dean Ambrose looking a little uneasy here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Ziggler with the famous sir. Can he finish the job? Quick cover from Dom Ziggler. Oh boy! Not enough to end this one. That's all right, Cole. Dom Ziggler makes it to 10. You have to like his chances here. Oh, we've got a couple. The pinfall and the victory. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. This is a truly great tag team in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree, a team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. 
That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three fall bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch-up. Oh my goodness, crushing it! The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. You can't let someone as talented and versatile as Curtis Axel get on a roll. Axel will start knocking you silly with hard-hitting shots reminiscent of his grandfather, Larry the Axe Henning. Oh, what impact. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. When a third-generation superstar like Curtis Axel starts to settle into a groove offensively, it means that you're in for a long night. If Axel starts landing the heavy offense, it could be over in a hurry. An opponent can't let Curtis Axel start rolling. Axel has so many types of maneuvers at his disposal that if he builds momentum and starts landing those classic heavy heading shots, an opponent's lights will be turned out in a hurry. When this guy's on, look out. Gets the tag. since 1999 and ringside since two and he tags his partner in momentum has certainly shifted here michael jumping leaping attack oh flying forearm that'll turn your lights out looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him Ooh. it's not hard to feel confident about yourself and you always have parker and rowan within striking distance Ooh, right to the face Michael brought up the return of the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania in 2017. What's Bo Dallas? That was the Bo Dazzler. Nice. Shut it down. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. It's a bed. What's going to happen now? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. He'd better hope his stamina lasts. Curtis Axel makes the tag. Axel with a snap mare, just like Daddy used to do. Oh, incredible. Is it enough, though? Amazing agility on display there. This thing turns around here. This tag team match is all over. And things look bleak right now. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking is... He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy. He's, he's lining him up. Uh-oh. This might be it. Oh, my. And there it is. 
He goes for the cover. Well, the pin's broken up. isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Counter here. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Max Handle finds the mark. Bray Wyatt is going in for the kill. The running senton! Crushing impact. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Now ah, Bray Wyatt. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. Game, set, match. This one is... They got it. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Look at him go. He really put on a great show. Here are your winners, Ray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. And that's a nice win.